Paris 7. Determination of the amounts of which contingencies are included in financial statements. Para 7.1 The amount at which a contingency is stated in the financial statements is based on the information which is available at the date on which the financial statements are approved. Events occurring after the balance sheet date that indicate that an asset may have been impaired or that a liability may have existed at the balance sheet date are therefore taken into account in identifying contingencies and in determining the amounts at which such contingencies are included in financial statements. Para 7. .2. In some cases, each contingency can be separately identified in the special circumstances of each situation considered in the determination of the amount of the contingency. A substantial legal claim against the enterprise may represent such a contingency. Among the factors taken into account by management in evaluating such a contingency are the progress of the claim at the date on which the financial statements are approved, the opinions, wherever necessary, of legal experts or other advisors, the experience of the enterprise in similar cases and the experience of other enterprises in similar situations. Para 7.3 If the uncertainties which created a contingency in respect of an individual transaction are common to a large number of similar transactions, then the amount of the contingency need not be individually determined, but may be based on the group of similar transactions. An example of such contingencies may be the estimated uncollectible portion of accounts receivable. Another example of such contingencies may be the warranties for products sold. These costs are usually incurred frequently and experience provides a means by which the amount of the liability or loss can be estimated with reasonable precision, although the particular transactions that may result in a liability or a loss are not identified. Provision for these costs results in their recognition in the same accounting period in which the related transactions took place. Power rate events occurring after the balance sheet date parade dot one events which occur between the balance sheet date and the date on which the financial statements are approved may indicate the need for adjustments to assets and liabilities as at the balance sheet date or may require disclosure parade dot two adjustments to assets and liabilities are required for events occurring after the balance sheet date that provide additional information materially affecting the determination of the amounts relating to conditions existing at the balance sheet date for example an adjustment may be made for a loss on a trade receivable account which is confirmed by the insolvency of a customer which occurs after the balance sheet date Parade.3 adjustments to assets and liabilities are not appropriate for events occurring after the balance sheet date if such events do not relate to conditions existing at the balance sheet date. An example is the decline in market value of investments between the balance sheet date and the date on which the financial statements are approved. Ordinary fluctuations in market values do not normally relate to the condition of the investments at the balance sheet date, but reflect circumstances which have occurred in the following period. Parade.4 events occurring after the balance sheet date which do not affect the figures stated in the financial statements would not normally require disclosure in the financial statements although they may be of such significance that they may require a disclosure in the report of the approving authority to enable users of financial statements to make proper evaluations and decisions. Parade.5 There are events which, although they take place after the balance sheet date, are sometimes reflected in the financial statements because of statutory requirements or because of their special nature. Such items include the amount of dividend proposed or declared by the enterprise after the balance sheet date in respect of the period covered by the financial statements. Parade.6 events occurring after the balance sheet date may indicate that the enterprise ceases to be a going concern. 
a deterioration in operating results and financial position, or unusual changes affecting the existence or substratum of the enterprise after the balance sheet date, e.g., destruction of a major production plant by a fire after the balance sheet date, may indicate a need to consider whether it is proper to use the fundamental accounting assumption of going concern in the preparation of the financial statements Para 9. Disclosure. Para 9.1. The disclosure requirements herein referred to apply only in respect of those contingencies or events which affect the financial position to a material extent. Para 9.2. If a contingent loss is not provided for its nature and an estimate of its financial effect are generally disclosed by way of note unless the possibility of a loss is remote other than the circumstances mentioned in paragraph 5.5. If a reliable estimate of the financial effect cannot be made, this fact is disclosed. Para 9.3 When the events occurring after the balance sheet date are disclosed in the report of the approving authority, the information given comprises the nature of the events and an estimate of their financial effects or a statement that such an estimate cannot be made. Accounting Standard Contingencies Para 10 The amount of a contingent loss should be provided for by a charge in the statement of profit and loss if a. It is probable that future events will confirm that after taking into account any related probable recovery, an asset has been impaired or a liability has been incurred. As at the balance sheet date and b. A reasonable estimate of the amount of the resulting loss can be made. Para 11 the existence of a contingent loss should be disclosed in the financial statements if either of the conditions in paragraph N is not met unless the possibility of a loss is remote. Para 12. Contingent gains should not be recognized in the financial statements. Events occurring after the balance sheet date. Para 13. Assets and liabilities should be adjusted for events occurring after the balance sheet date that provide additional evidence to assist the estimation of amounts relating to conditions existing at the balance sheet date or that indicate that the fundamental accounting assumption of going concern, i.e., the continuance of existence or substratum of the enterprise is not appropriate. Para 14. Dividends stated to be in respect of the period covered by the financial statements which are proposed or are declared by the enterprise after the balance sheet date but before approval of the financial statements should be adjusted. Para 15. Disclosure should be made in the report of the approving authority of those events occurring after the balance sheet date that represent material changes in commitments affecting the financial position of the enterprise. Disclosure Para 16. If disclosure of contingencies is required by paragraph 11 of this statement, the following information should be provided a. The nature of the contingency, b. The uncertainties which may affect the future outcome, c. An estimate of the financial effect, or a statement that such an estimate cannot be made. Para 17. If disclosure of events occurring after the balance sheet date in the report of the approving authority is required by paragraph 15 of this statement, the following information should be provided a. The nature of the event, b. An estimate of the financial effect, or a statement that such an estimate cannot be made. Please visit our site and post your comments. Thank you.